Hello everyone, my name is Zach. If you're like me, you have a lot of creative ideas and sometimes they get trapped inside your head. Here on Bite Size Engineering, I make ridiculous projects like this to get you excited about making your own creative ideas and unleashing your inner maker. I have always had a hard time storing my 3D printing filament or wire spools until I figured out what I was doing wrong. I've designed a spool rack that solves one of the biggest problems I've found with spool storage. The cool thing about this design is that it could also work for storing any other material that is wrapped around a spool or tube, like tape for example. So here's what I'm talking about. I do a lot of 3D printing here on this channel and I've got a ton of these spools. They're about eight inches in diameter and they're a little bit hard to store. The other thing I work with a lot is wiring. I have these smaller spools that are about a five inch diameter. These are also hard to store because the wiring comes unraveled and it just becomes a mess. At any given time, I have about 20 spools of wire and about a dozen spools of 3D printing filament. So it's kind of a big problem of how to store these things. At first glance, you might think that the solution is simple. Just find like a pipe or a tube that fits in the middle and just start loading these on here. And then I designed and printed these little brackets that hold up this piece of PVC and I could screw it to a wall or I could even attach it to my shelving in my closet. For the wire spools, it was the same thing. I got a piece of half inch PVC and these fit right in there just perfectly and I could store them on the side of my workbench. The problem with this approach is that once the spool is emptied, you can't get it off of the rack without disturbing its neighbors. You have to take everything apart, pull out one empty spool off, and then put everything back together. This is especially a problem with 3D printing because the spools run out pretty frequently because you're printing a lot of materials, they run out and you need to swap in a new spool to keep your print going. And it's a huge pain in the butt. The biggest thing I need to do to solve this problem is eliminate this center pipe. My design needs to work around using two pieces of parallel pipe and have the spools run on top of them like this. Let me jump on the computer to show you what I mean. I'm going to start by creating some parameters for the size of the spool because I want to be able to build this thing for different spool sizes. From there, I'll use those parameters to define a sketch and then I can extrude out the first half of the spool rack. I had an interesting idea for this project. I wanna make the spool rack sort of modular. So I designed this piece to be stackable. So that way I could build one spool rack and then build an identical second one and be able to stack it on top so that I can store multiple layers of spools. To accomplish this, I added sort of a little dovetail feature that would allow me to slide two pieces together and I kind of rounded over the corners. It kind of fits together like a puzzle piece. I've made one smaller size for the wire spools and then a larger size for the 3D printing filament. There are several ways you could go about making something like this. You could print out a template and then like glue it to a piece of wood and cut it out on a bandsaw. For me, I opted to prototype using a 3D printer. So I've printed several iterations here and I've kind of worked out some of the kinks. Here's how this is going to work. I've cut two pieces of PVC pipe and the cool thing about this design is that I can cut the length of these PVC pipes however wide I need to fit however spools. So if you only have a couple of spools to store, you can cut them really short or you can make them longer if you need to store more. So it's really easy to adjust. The next step is just to slide these into the opposite side and then you've created a little spool rack. So you can kind of set these on there and the PVC has a pretty smooth surface and it allows these spools to kind of glide on there. If you had a little bit of binding or friction, you could put a little paste wax or something on there to solve that problem. Then if I needed to store more of these spools, I could create another copy of this setup and just slide it on top and create a second layer. And I've designed this in a way that won't interfere. If you need to take out one of these spools on a lower level, it's not gonna interfere with the upper level. So you can still get access to those spools. Now that I'm happy with the way the prototype has turned out, I'm going to make these parts look a little nicer. And for that, I'm gonna be using a service called Send Cut Send. Their website is pretty amazing. All I needed to do was to upload my design to their website and then select which of their dozens of materials that I wanted to use for my project. Once I was done, they cut the parts out and then sent them to me with free shipping. If you want to get the design files and templates for this project and many others, I offer them for free to people who become channel members. Otherwise, you can purchase them using the link found in the description. For my 3D printing filament, I wanted to make these side pieces a little bit thicker, but the thickest material that I could get from Send Cut Send was only a half inch thick. So I ended up gluing two of them together to get me a one inch thick piece. Getting these to align while I glued them was really easy because I just used the holes for the PVC pipe to align them. It didn't require any salt or any other seasoning to keep them from moving around. I've finished gluing all these pieces up and now it's time to assemble this thing.
I've built one of these racks for my 3D printing filament and a second rack for my electrical wire. With this design, I've solved one of the biggest problems when it comes to storing spools. When one of the spools runs out, I can easily take it out and replace it without disturbing any of the other spools on the rack. I've also designed this in a way for it to be as modular as possible. You can do what I've done here and build different sizes for different diameter of spools. If you have a whole bunch of spools that you want to store, you can build these as long as you want, or you can stack multiple racks like I've done here using those interlocking features. These racks can sit flat on a workbench like this, or because I have a piece attached in the back, you could also mount them on a wall. I installed my spool rack above my 3D printer so that I can load and unload the filament with ease. I also put labels on my wire spool gauge so I know what kind of wire goes in each spot. If you have any ideas on how I can improve this design, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. A few weeks ago, I made this video talking about why it's so important to be organized in your workspace. This project is part of that effort in being more organized in my workspace. Thanks for taking the time to watch this one and I'll see you next time.